Welcome back guys. We're heading down to the barn to do evening chores. Oh. Left the other kids with uh, Nana and Papa. So it's just the three of us. And Doug. And Doug. And Doug. It's, I actually don't even know what the temperature is out today, but it's melting, melting so, yeah. Um, they were calling for possible rain today, which we didn't get. Um, they're calling for heavy, snotty snow tomorrow, I guess. We gotta run up to the Sioux, do some city stuff, unfortunately. If anybody knows me, I hate being in the Sioux, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and a person driving by. So I brought the some caulking down with us. I got it. For some reason, for some reason our uh, sump hole is leaking. Um, somehow there's water getting into the sump hole and the water's not coming from in the barn. So the only thing and the pail wasn't cracked when we put it in. Now unless it cracks since which I don't think so because it's pretty much been getting water in it since we put it in. All I can think is we drilled a hole in the side near the top um, for the pipe to come into from the gutter. And so I'm thinking that the groundwater is seeping in around that pipe. So I'm going to take this caulking here and try and seal around where the pipe comes in and see if that doesn't help. But uh, yeah. So like right now, normally our barn would be like incredibly soaking wet. And as you can see, the ducks are high and dry. So yeah. Um, we've been tying malls in recently. Just because this is probably gonna be our last year with us. You said the summer. I know. If you guys have been following us, you guys know Malz's story. And if you haven't been following us, go back into some of our older farm videos there. And it's just the way it is. But anyway, so we've been tying Malz in, just trying to treat her as nicely as possible. Um, she has a bit of a hard time getting around, especially in winter. And then we got the calf tied in, and actually his mom gets tied in with him. They're tied so we don't have to worry about them sucking. We tried putting him outside with her, like we put the two big cows out during the day. <coughs> but uh, when we put the calf out with her, even though they've been separated for a couple months, um, he was starting to suck. So we put the, what is that called? Weaning halter. Weaning halter. Halter of death. That we made, yeah. It's got uh, spikes on her. Yeah, I put bolts through and then kind of like studs on a snow machine track. Anyway. Which, that has always worked in the past. But uh, for whatever reason, he was still getting a little suckle in. So now he gets tied in all the time. But... Yeah, they're staying nice and dry. Good bedding. Lots of hay. There's all of our straw. What's Willa doing? Willa is... Willa is playing World War II down in the trenches. Come here, babes. Come here, babes. Let's stand back here.
You're missing two? I hear them. Come on. Come on. Look at this little sneak sneaking under the gate. Can they get out of there? Huh? Come on, Mom! Come on, Fern! Come on! Go, boss! So, uh, my neighbor and buddy there next door, uh, Nathan, he come over with his four-wheel drive tractor and uh, leveled out the back here a bit. Because when I hauled manure out of here, made some uh, pretty big ruts. And I wasn't sure how I was going to manage uh, feeding hay back here this winter. So I had done a job for him there and uh, I figured I'd ask him if he'd come over and level her out and he had no problem so he come over and did that, packed her down and he also went and packed down where I'm feeding the cows over off the 10 right now. Because um, prior to that when I went in there with the hay wagon I was uh, sinking so bad, so he was able to pack her down and uh, make it able so that I was able to get in there and feed them, so I'll feed them over there as long as I can. It's kind of nice, but I love this weather. Not so much the melting. I myself, I really like minus five. That's kind of like my preference for temperature but because uh, everything kind of stays stiff but uh, I love that we have very little snow like I think we got like maybe six to eight inches and we probably lost a fair amount today so I love it we can get around everywhere and do everything that we need to do still and yeah it's really nice Today is December, what is it, December the 7th or 8th, I think, so, beautiful day, beautiful day. Babes? Checking on the feed, eh? They got feed? Something still, eh? Chicken! So our egg production had gone down big time uh, 
like late October. Yeah. So we ran out of our about a month and a half. Yeah, what happened was we ran out of our the chicken feed that we buy by the ton, and uh, we ended up having to buy a few bags at uh, at the feed store. So between the change in feed and just the daylight and that time of year when the chickens start kind of slow down on the production. Um, yeah, we went down to like, what was it, like eight? Yeah, six or eight. Six or eight eggs a day. But Jess got 15 today. So they're coming back. We do leave the light on all day. So they get about 12 hours of daylight or light. Um, I don't know if I should maybe rig something up on a timer so that they get a little bit more, but anyway, um, yeah, so still got a few rabbits. But whose rabbit is that? Those two or Landis? Oh. So our egg production's been down a little bit, but just the way cookie crumbles. Like almost 30 pounds since we got them. So here's the goats. These guys get a heated dish, not that it's plugged in right now. Hello. But when it does get cold, they are handy to have. So the water doesn't freeze. I'll do February. Well, we got the snow machine going as you've seen it was actually like the fourth or fifth pull there that uh, got her going but fired right up couldn't believe her would have taken her for a little bit longer of a rip but 
as I went out the driveway I thought oh I don't know how much gas is in her I checked the oil but uh, I figured I better not go too far so anyway good to have that going there for when we do get a bunch of snow and can't uh, take the truck and with that being said the truck I uh, haven't uh, you might have seen it in the background in a video or two, but uh, here's the new truck. We bought her, oh, just over a month ago. Actually, no, pretty much a month ago right now. Um, she's a Dodge, uh, Dodge Ram 1500 Classic. <coughs> four-wheel drive, four-door. It's got the full back seat in it. It's uh, 2019. So it was brand new, and then it's uh, not the sports model. The sports model has the uh, shifter right here in the center, but uh, having three kids and uh, having anybody else in the vehicle, we wanted the sixth seat there in the front. So that just flips up. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. There's the back seat. So you can fit three car seats in here, no problem. It's got a huge back seat in it. Uh, standard trucks now come with a five and a half foot box. This is a six and a half foot. So it's a little bit longer. Um, but as you can see, it's got the lights in the back. So when you're doing stuff in the back of the box, then it's got like this, I don't know, easy slow down tailgate thing, which I don't know. I actually don't overly like it because when it's cold, it takes forever to come down and you can't really force the cylinder. But anyway, it is what it is. And then this one here has got the 20 inch uh, wheels on it. So she's big. I'm just running the stock tires right now. Um, my next door neighbor, my buddy there, Nathan, he's got the same truck. Uh, his is a year or two older. He bought it brand new a year or two ago. But uh, he's running the stock tires. and So I'm going to run this. And my buddy Wesley has the same tires. They're in all season. But I'll probably go with like a... I was talking with Nathan and I think it was like a BFG or something like that. Um, anyway, a little more aggressive tire once we wear these ones out but most guys seem to be getting three or four years out of the tires so but anyway so this is my trapping rig for now I guess you could say uh, just with the driveway we have in the winter time was always such a pain having to blow blow the driveway every few hours in the winter time just so we could get the car which the car is calved out that's why we got the truck but anyway there it is, still got the old minivan, but I digress. So that's gonna do it for this little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. I don't know what's going on with my screen here. Anyway, it's got a line across it. I touched something, <laughs> technology. Anyway, if you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. Uh, leave us a comment. And if you guys haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys. Ciao.